Three, two, one. Brief tutorial to show you how to do Nerve. Nerve is this great VST from Steve Duda uh, interface designed by Dead Mouse. If you look here, just look, it's scrolling up. So Xfair Records, uh, Joel Zimmer. There you go. Anyway, um, so load a kit, lots of kits. There's tons of stuff, and you can load your own. But I'll just show you this for the time being. There you go. And it's quite a simple um, VST, really. All you need to do is just work on a velocity principle that the taller the blue bar that you draw, the louder it's going to be. Where it lies in the grid is where it's going to sound like a step so listen Let's get something subby going okay some claps uh, you can paint as well within the grid so you just drag click on it change the height click these tabs it mutes them Nice swing. That's got some swing templates. Let's flip through. Uh, this one. They just allow a different feel. Got some different overviews. So you can see the total of the sequence that you make in there. Um, it's got a mixed window so you can see it all overview so you can check different loudness uh, volume also you can change the pattern so the flick between several different so I can click drag that pattern onto number two as you can see and I don't know add some variation perhaps so if you tell it that in the chain there's two You'll see it'll play through one and play through two. Also great. Uh, if you look down here for the each each tab, you can see it's got this pre-cal. Now uh, this is the thing with nerve which some people put off. It's designed really to be used on uh, a laptop, but it's got this pre-cal thing anyway, and this saves CPU because it calculates it before it. it don't really understand the technology myself but I'm led to believe that it actually has already done all the sums all the calculations before it's playing so for this kick let's change the pitch so it sounds like that and you can see the waveform change so there you go independent volume control for each tab so this one I'm going to turn it down I'm going to EQ it, take some of the bo bottom end. Might pan it as well, change it. Change the pitch. Also, it's got some interesting side chaining possibilities. Filters. And you can do variations of the pattern for various things like cut off resonance pitch pan gating make it the beat fall a little bit earlier later some sends in there so you can do some fx auxiliary sends anyway just keeping it basic nice and simple if you hover your mouse over the tab you'll see it's got this little menu thing if you shift alt and drag it will render that particular tab to a WAV file. There's one. Let's do another one there. Clap. And it's just a simple key combination. And then clicking and dragging. Much like machine. 
Let's bypass this. Set locators. There you go. That's how I get audio from it. Now, as you get more advanced, you'll be able to discover that it is multi timbral. So it's just a case of firing up the multi timbral instrument there. I'm not going to do it now. And you can do the outputs in here. So you can click and drag them, make them go up. So you can have all of these different tabs playing on a different um, input in your mixer. So you can play it as a real instrument, I guess. But I like using it very quickly. Click, drag, off you go.